My mum and dad married very young. I think my mum was 17 when she married and she had me at 19, so she was a very young mum and obviously lots of stresses and strains, so they went their separate ways, they split up. I always felt different, I always wondered where I'd come from, what my dad was like, if I was like him, if I had any traits like him. He sent me a birthday card on my 18th and um, it said, lots of love, Pete, brackets dad. And I thought, I don't, I don't know you. Being a hot-headed teenager, I was, uh, and I kind of dismissed the card. And it was my stepdad that actually was pushing me to find my biological dad. He said to me many years ago, go and find your dad. The main thing that kicked me into action for finding my dad was, sadly, John lost his father to cancer. Um, yeah, he was still quite young and it made me think, you know, not everyone, yeah, no one lives forever. All I had was an approximate date of birth and I knew his name, his full name, and I knew his parents. Um, well, I knew his dad's name and I knew where he was born. I said, um, so with that information, I put that on there. So it wasn't really giving too much to go on. Um, and just pressed the button and thought, well, let's see what comes back. On the Tuesday, I had a phone call asking if I knew what his mother's name was. And I knew her name was an unusual name, but she died quite a few years ago and I couldn't remember for the life of me what it was. So the person I spoke to said, okay, I'll give you a group of names and you pick what one. So I knew exactly, as soon as he said her name, it was like, yeah, that's it, Nelly, I know her name. So he said, okay, yeah, we found your man for you. So really, that quick? Yep, yep, we've got all the information. So, yeah, they gave me the information over the phone as well as sent me a report. Um, it was worth every penny. I didn't really know what to say, so we sat there and wrote this letter, sent the letter. Once I received that letter from Andrea, really asking me back in her life, I, I was thrilled to pieces. I really was. I was so chuffed it's not true. It was a, a really good really good feeling and it was nice to know that he did want to know me and he did want to know to get his grand get to know his grandchildren and obviously my husband John so it happened just so quick it was a bit overwhelming but it was it was a good overwhelming it was and obviously when I met him I went by myself John didn't come that was a he said no you need to do that by yourself and we went out for a meal and it was as though we'd known each other for years because we didn't stop talking. We've slotted in one or two very nice holidays, haven't we? We have. And uh, got we, one to look forward to got, very soon. We have indeed and it's been, um, I won't say hectic, but we do see one another on a, a regular basis, we don't, do. we? Yes. don't we? Which is great. Now, having such a great relationship with him and knowing where I've come from, it's filled what hole I had in my life. It's actually filled that and I actually feel, yeah, they all say it, complete. I don't like to, but I do feel complete. It's, it's nice to now have a very good relationship with him. He's made such a difference in my life. Yeah. He really has and uh, I can't thank you guys enough because of that because I can't imagine my life without him now.